Hello everyone, welcome to module 5 of the Socket Programming with Python tutorial series. Uh, I am Tour. This tutorial series is for Hectolizer team. So today we're going to look at the Socket Java framework in Python. Uh, the Socket Java module is a framework for creating network server. It simplifies the task of writing network server. So basically it is a module which we can create network server easily. Okay. So let's look at the Python official documentation. Socket Sava frame Python. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is the official documentation of Socket Sava framework. So okay, let me do some demo and write some codes. Here we go. This is our Windows 8 machine. Open Python idle and we'll create a new file. And first, uh, we need to import socket server. Okay. And then we need to use the uh, socket server method. Uh, for socket server, there are four basic server classes. So let's see in the documentation, uh, TCP server, and then UDP server, unit stream server, and unit datagram server. So for this video, we'll use TCP server because we are writing TCP echo server. Okay, so let me do that. So let's say a variable server is equal to socket server dot tcp server and then uh, it needs at least two arguments server address and request handler class so server address is tuple which contain uh, ip address and port number so let me write let's say 192.168.0.1 and then port number is uh, one three three seven and then our request request handler class let's say my my tcp my tcp handler okay we'll write this class so let's write class my TCP handler and then uh, this class is subclass of base request handler class so we need to call it socket server dot base request handler and then we'll override the handle method so def and all sub okay and then self data So okay, here self.request is the uh, client socket 
and will print to the screen. So software client address is the uh, client detail. So we print it because we want to see what is the client's IP address and port number and then send the data back to the client. Before we send to the data, we use the upper method. So basically it receives the client data and then change to capital, capital letter, and then send back to the client with send all method. Okay, so, and then we need to run the server forever. So uh, we'll use the forever method. So server dot serve forever serve forever so let's save the program onto the desktop Sub server and then run the program here we go now the program is up and running and listen in the connection so let me go back to Kali Linux here we go from Kali Linux we use the program called netcat to connect to the server and netcat is free installed inside Kali Linux so let me call netcat using nc 192.168.0.1 it is the server address and then port number is 1337 hit enter and then we send the data like socket programming here we go server reply with capital letter so let's see here we go this is the client ib address and then this is a client port number and then client send the data socket programming now the client is disconnect but the server is still listening the connection because we use the soft forever method so let me connect back to the server and then hello wow okay now the server is reply with capital letter so let me go back to my slides okay that's all for this tutorial if you have any questions or comment send it to me i hope this has been informative for you and see you in next video bye